One of the most common questions I get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did for our viewers on YouTube is create a free mentorship course that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they get started. But please take note that there is limited seating every single week. So please reserve your spot at myinvestingclub.co. The link is in the description. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of the Daily Recap. We are calling it now the Trading Fish Academy. And today we're going to talk about recycling trading round core. There's so many different things going on in trading, so many strategies, so many styles, guys, that we literally cannot have enough time, enough videos to cover everything because the markets change every day. And each day the algos are getting smarter and smarter and they are outwitting us. It's very hard nowadays to compete with computerized programming, trading, all that stuff. So eventually one day it'll be a computer based world. Now even cars are driving by themselves pretty soon. What the hell do we need? <laughs> why, why do they need humans for, right guys? They're only gonna need humans to breed. Soon it'll be a computer in our, in our heads they're already starting to do that, man. They're starting to put chips in people's bodies. Soon, they, soon they're gonna not gonna be need a man. They have a sperm bank, and you know, <laughs> gonna be populating a computer. <laughs> but anyways, with that in mind, how do you defeat the computer algos? You don't. You do not defeat them, guys. You work with them. You work with the algos. The algos are nothing more than computerized programming ran by the biggest firms. They are the ones usually controlling the stock, guys. Um, and that's why we are able to make money. We are able to make money it is because I'm trading stuff that is heavily manipulated. So when you hear people start talking and complaining about manipulation, that's what I love. I love manipulation. That's when things become predictable. When a stock is manipulated, it's predictable, right? I know the end game. Just work with them. Stop fighting the freaking manipulation. The guys you see on Twitter blowing up, crying all day about algos are the guys fighting the algos. Do not fight the algos. Make love to the algos. And I'll show you why. Okay, so we're going to jump straight into it. Um, gonna, so these are the stocks I traded. I'm going to save my p and and stuff. That doesn't really matter because I don't want you to focus on that. I want to focus on the strategies and the charts and the trades. Okay, guys? So... Take a look at ALF. Let me start with something that I fucked up on initially, but then I kind of made it back. So look at ALF. This is a trading nightmare. <laughs> um, which, what you see in those little triangles are 500 shares. Each triangle is 500 shares. So just kind of, you know, so I sized down significantly on this thing. Um, I guess 500 shares do add up very quickly, guys, as you notice. So this is what happened. So I woke up today and I felt great because I too, yesterday I made money. I made a lot of money yesterday. I was like, dude, I was kicking ass on ALF. I was making money on ALF every pretty much every single day until this happened. Let's take a look at ALF. Notice how I was making money up until today, guys. Notice how I was making money up until today. For the past three days, four days, it was trading within a channel. So it was very predictable. We, we talk about channel trading, which I may make another video on next time. But today's video will be on recycling. But it, once the channel is like this, it's, you know, once you know what you're doing, guys, it's pretty, I love this type of trading. It's controlled trading. This is a very controlled stock. When I see this formation, I know that there are algos out there that have the stock in control. It's going back and forth. They're doing what they're doing for some reason. We don't need to know the reason. They're just doing it. But if I had to have a hindsight, they are consolidating. They are consolidating. Okay, guys. So let's take a look at, at this real quick. Let's look at ALF. This is the intraday. I want to look up a long term, maybe a 15 day. Or just... So what happened is it spiked up. And when it spikes up, it has to clean up the stock. So it never really broke down. And so today is an abnormal day. 
And this is a day that catches short sellers by surprise. And this is the day that if you do not have proper risk management, you will blow up. And then when you wake up tomorrow, you're going to, you're going to see some crazy action. You go, I knew it. If I held, I make money, but it's too late. You get burnt not only mental capital, but financial capital and all sorts of things that your wife or your girlfriend or your, your freaking landlord is going to kick you out. Right. So, so keep that in mind guys. So notice this notice it's been consolidating all this time and yeah i made money every day so today i woke up wow it's tanking actually shoot oh. so right now i went to 15 so that's the top guy so if i wanted to i uh seems like so when i see a, a rejection like this a death candle it, it kind of signals like that that could be a temporary top and so if we zoom in let me pull this back. Let's, let me see, man. Let's examine this real quick. 1450 could be a line and up to 15. So if you wanted to, I mean, if you. Hey guys, my name is Tosh Bradley. I'm one of the head mentors and monitors at My Investing Club. If you have any questions about getting started in trading, getting started in MIC, MIC in general, text me at 213-458-5997. This is not a robot. It is me directly on the other end of my business line and uh, we'll get you in the club. We also have special promotions going on that I can get to you depending on your trading needs. Hit me up. Back to the video. All right. I just put it there. I mean, it's an easy stop, guys. If it broke this, I will stop out for not much of a loss, 500 bucks, you know. Um, I'm using the outer line here, as you notice. And so if it broke the high of day, which is 1490, I would stop out. That's all I'm doing. Uh, right now, it, this is all breaking the rules, all sorts of rules. Uh, but this is not bad because I have predefined my risk. torch tent. So what I did was I, I, I covered all my torch so that I can do this webinar, guys. So I don't want to get FOMO by doing that. So we did cover alpha real quick. I want to show the fact that I screwed up on alpha in the beginning. It's because of this. Okay. Be very careful. Uh, alpha, I was very arrogant. I was making money every day on alpha because it was very controlled. When it's controlled like this, dude, all I do is I channel trade. No problem. It's, I don't lose much. If I'm wrong, I do not lose much because this does not go out of control. Okay. And so you have to you have to, so during this time, I may have broken a lot of rules that paid me off. Bad habits paid me off on ELF. And I got away with it. I got away by adding to a loser all the way up and it would reject and I would make money. Cool. Same thing every day. It would go up, I go down, it'd go up, we go down. So it would go up, we go down. So I was like, ooh, I got this thing handled. Every single day, ELF would run like crazy and then it would tank. Okay, so I know that eventually you'll have a relief. Uh-oh, what happened today? No relief whatsoever, guys. So if you got into ALF and you did not take your losses, you're dead. This move, so let's take a look at these moves, okay? So this is why Alex showed the, the video about kind of resetting yourself and not being humble. Because what, what it could easily happen, I could have blown up today on this stock. This stock could have just taken me out and just whooped me, right? So that's what happened in the morning. So this is where, but the morning I didn't lose that much. Surprisingly, I only lost a thousand dollars right here. I don't know how the hell I only lost a thousand dollars right here. Okay, let me, let me take a look at this. Okay, so I'm showing you bad trading right now. Okay, guys, and this bad trading is. That's because when it gave up, it gave up a lot. And so I was putting more size out here. So my average was not that bad. So I got saved once again, but this was unnecessary. I did not need to do all this stupid crap. If it had broke this line up here, I should have stopped out. But I did because I looked at my p and go, it's not that much. So not that much started to balloon up. Okay, guys. So you have to be careful. The, the fact that I covered here, it, it gave me a relief. It gave me an out is the re only reason why I'm alive on this stock today. 
And a lot of times these stocks do not stop. And but the thing also is I had watching a chat room pumper pump this up. So I knew that once he sells, so so what he did was I so we don't know the the forces behind all this. Is it because of the chat room guy that moved it up? Or is it because someone else was moving it and he's just doing the party? Right, guys. So we can never assume. We can never assume one or the other, but there's a characteristic with a stock. Okay. This stock has been moving up and down all week. So I know that there's a relief. This is a matter of when I just got in way too early because I was too cocky because it never broke this area before. Now it broke it. And I was like, oh crap. Right. And it was still too early. It was too early. I usually have this rule where I don't really stop out like unless it's like blown, blown me away. Right. Uh, by by like 10 o'clock. So I usually, I'm okay before 10 o'clock. It's after 10 o'clock and usually around 10.30 to 11, that's, that's when you blow up. Because it needs to trap all the people first, right? So I got out, I was only down a thousand bucks. Surprisingly, I mean, how the hell that happened, right? I, was, I didn't lose that much. Um, so if you take a look at this, this is where I got, I guess most of the losses is in this candle right here. But then I made it back. So, you know, I'm okay on this stock because uh, I, I, I know the patterns of the stock. But at the same time, guys, this is not something you want to play with because I, I was being rewarded for bad habits on this stock. And that's how you see all this. So this one actually was the one that got me most of the losses, but I didn't lose that much, right? Um, the, pro the thing is when it, when it dips, it dips hard. I make 50 cents each time it dips. So I've been making 50 cents, 50 cents. So that's how I make my money back on this stock. That's, that's why I love this stock. But the problem with the stock is once it starts moving, you should get the hell out. And I was too arrogant. I didn't get the hell out. And so that's why, you know, I lost that. But I didn't lose that much. But still, I could have. I could have. How much do you cover? I don't understand that. How, I don't know what you mean. How much do I cover? I try to cover everything. <laughs> I, don't hold, I don't hold stuff. If it goes down here, I try to cover it and we put it back in here. So I was hoping this thing would channel a little longer. If this thing had channeled here all day long, I would have been up for a lot. <laughs> uh, I would have made everything back and then made a lot of money. But then it didn't channel. It started breaking up and skipping. That's why I warned the room, be careful. This thing is not trading like the way it normally does. So wait, I actually got some. So let me just put it in. So, you know, I... I let me see, you know, just stuff like that. I mean, all I, so when it channels guys, I'm just picking two channels and I'm just doing it. So I'm just randomly doing it. Right now it's actually here. So I could have done 1408 if I wanted to, but this thing has gone crazy like this. So let's not add any more pain to it. <laughs> um, so any questions on ALF? So the morning was what killed it. This stock, if it's over VWAP guys, you should not touch it. So this is where I stopped. So I knew I, I did not want to add to my, my losses anymore. And so I made a mistake this morning by not cutting my losses after this line. So I said, hell no. So I put a hard stop actually right here. You notice this? So I covered right here. You saw the cover and then it shot up. So that's why I'm okay for the rest of the day. I should have done this stop maneuver over here and over here. Then I would be fine, but did not. But I learned my lesson at least. Otherwise this would have taken me out. So draw that line, guys, a high of day, put a stop out over that. This was so early that, you know, uh, but then the 10 o'clock is what, that, this one was a, the bulk of the losses, but I made it back here, but it was unnecessary. Imagine if I had proper stopping out techniques with the stock, I'd be up a lot of money. But all I did was make back my losses, which I was stubborn. I didn't put the hard stop. So this is an example of what you should not do. So the, if I go back, I would draw the line and put a hard stop over this line. That's what I did right here. So at least I learned not to make the mistake the next time around. So the next time around, it was channeling fine. I put a stop right here and I got out. You see the stop? I got right here. Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.